Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, just kind of like my Tuesday. Don't ask if you don't know. Uh, 8th of March. Um, this is the Monday after the Senate passed the bill that's just going to cut people checks. Total stop, stop gap, total band-aid solution. Um... Okay, perhaps it's needed, but long-term solutions are needed. Anyone here who works in Washington or who is a senator or if the president is listening today or any of the House of Representatives, I have a real good idea for you. Um, why don't you hire about, I don't know, 800,000 people um, to build infrastructure for America? Um that's my, that's my two cents, you fucking morons. Anyway, I've on, been on this political rant a little bit. I'm going to get off that track and get back into uh, the markets here. Let's take a look at uh, equities here. They didn't really uh, do what everyone thought they were going to do, right? We popped up to 66. Um, bang, gap open, which is what everyone thought was going to happen. A lot of people were trying to sell in the 90s. Nobody uh, got paid up there. A lot of lonely offers in the 90s. Lonely Girl 17 uh, is up there in the 90s. Sorry, Brenda. I do not think you're going to get paid up there. Uh, 38.25. This is delayed. Uh, I don't even know what the real price is. I have a feeling it's even a little bit lower based on some of the proxies here. Um, but, um, hmm. Buy the rumor, sell the fact, looks in play here. My guess, they smacked the pony um, at the European Open. Let's go to Dollar China. We talked about this um, all last week. 651 was the bingo number. We got 160 points on Friday out of it. Um, if you did get a better average and you could sit through the 650.50 given, this looks pretty constructive here. Probably going to make a new high here um, at the European Open in dollar China. Dollar looks pretty good. Feels a little bit risk off. Dollars are um, jacked up to 44. We had some 49 offers and some 59 offers um, to get out of our longs. We did not get paid on Friday. Sitting here long, I don't know. It's tough. I feel like this could go either way. What's the range going to be today? Is it going to be 28.42, 15.42 the high, 15.28 the low? I don't know. So we're we're going to be, I don't know, cautiously optimistic. Um, we'll probably have sort of 42s and 52s in. If the 42s get done, we'll try and buy 28s, right? We'll try and buy back down at 30. Average is pretty tidy in our dollars are longs. Uh, see what happens. A lot has to do with what happens with ES, right? You can see Bitcoin is 50,000, so that's kind of neutral today. Uh, let's see. Aussie. Big down day Friday, bang. 76.18. 76, the figure is going to be. I just have a feeling that's going to be our waterfall, waterfall zone. The chart's not that great. This chart was pointed out to me by a clever fellow uh, yesterday. 71, the figure. Put it in the book. 71, the figure. We talked about a lot uh, waiting for one, uh, 127.50. Um, so guess what? Keep waiting. Just be patient, right? This looks like it's forming some sort of right shoulder. There's no, re no reason to pre-trade this. The risk trade itself is, is pr you know, pretty volatile. And what we're trying to do is just get into the market when we're pretty sure with very close to certainty the direction. And we know once we're going through 127.50, there's, there's going to be buying. Uh, Kiwi Yen, we all know, 77 cents. Now this is now even better. 
look at the triple bottom down here plus we got the trend line plus today if we get down below 77.10 it's bearish engulfing uh, no reason to really think it's going to be that much of a down day today but if it is uh, watch out you know a lot of people will be bulled up with this with this uh, package out of the Senate um, when really it's just I mean it helps with consumption a little bit but I mean you are totally fucking your long-term finances and you're also disincentivizing people from uh, doing the bootstrap action that is kind of you know what what drives America right like I don't want to get into the philosophy of this but it's not really a handout country, whereas in Europe you get loads of handouts, right? In Switzerland, if you're out of work, they'll pay for two fucking years, like 80% of your salary, up to like a hundred and mumble thousand. Um, that's a handout society. America's not really built like that. I don't know why we're trying to turn into that, because uh, we've had a lot of success the last, uh, I don't know, 300 years uh, with the bootstrap model. Anyway, I don't really care. I'm just pointing it out. Uh, interesting. Interesting to me at some level. More bar talk than uh, trading talk. It's like a GME. Um, God bless these fucking Wall Street bets, guys. It went back, all the way back up to 185. That long-haired fucker in, in the Senate when he bought at 50 bucks was epic. Man, that was really epic. That guy, uh, New England born and bred track runner uh, I feel for that guy because I was also a track guy and I'm also from New England um, <laughs> I have may share also some sense of humor uh, sarcasm uh, sense of humor that he does he might be even better at it uh, I hope this goes back to 300 GME here I don't I mean I would never be long it I also wouldn't be short it it's just kind of insane um, but I thought it was neat. The guy tripled his money basically in three days after telling the Senate that he was buying it at 50 bucks. It's pretty fucking good, gotta say. I mean, it's, it's the gamification of trading, but I've seen a lot of guys gamify trading and it takes the emotion out of it, makes it fun, uh, and do well with it. Most of the time it ends in tears and there's some big blow up, uh, but I don't know. I, I find it's pretty neat. Anyway, let's let's take a look back at our trusty bonds, which are just, you know, we talked about it in January. Um, this was the big trade. And here we are still on its knees. Um, should maybe go sideways here so I mean we have kind of 160 as a good little top 155 as the low and ZB uh, but this could also plunge I would not be long this I'm not I wouldn't suggest trading this from the long side um, just want to reload shorts uh, up near 158 maybe 160 um, you see the 10 year yield here is tickling the highs you know, this can easily go right through 2%, right? Like there's going to be loads of risk through 2. Look at this chart. Loads of risk through 2. The 2020 highs, believe it or not, we were 2% in January. Mm, yeah, kind of. One, 190 in January last year. So a year ago, we were 190. We're 158 now. This could easily go through 2%. This could go to 3%. If the world starts questioning the finances of America, I don't care what the Fed does. Um, there could be a massive steepening of, uh, of the curve. So let's just see. Um, I wouldn't get carried away here. We need to do some sideways action. This is the way markets work. So look for sideways action today. But... Um, there's no reason to be long uh, bonds. I don't see any real reason to be long bonds. Anyway, shit. I've said enough. 
Uh, I didn't really say a lot today. No real close entries. The Kiwi Yen and the Kiwi Dollar are far. Dollar Cat is far. Um, we're playing with these Dollar China longs. So, you know, trading it on the profit side, trying to get a better average or harvesting cash. Uh, let's look at gold. I forgot. Gold futures. Where are you, GC? Let's just look at gold. I don't know. Gold. I guess this is cash gold. I don't even know what this is. I haven't traded gold in a while. Um, is gold turning? Is it time to buy some gold? I don't know. It might be. You had kind of that doji after that long move down. We got to 1688. Uh, I don't know. Kind of wanted this thing to get down to 1650 before you really before it's really stretchy, stretchy. Uh, not sure on gold oil. <laughs> uh, no fucking clue. What are we doing here? Don't know. We stopped trading oil for obvious reasons, but this does not make sense to me. Um, this chart here. Anyway, shutting up now. Uh, watching, just trading this dollar China really. Uh, very passively and watching to see how uh, basically the U.S. treats the risk trade. Shutting up now. Good luck today, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.